Good morning. Well, what a 24 hours it's been. I was here in Uxbridge yesterday when there were two resignations. And my goodness me, we've now got Boris Johnson um, resigning as well. Extraordinary 24 hours. And what does that mean to the people in Uxbridge and Ryslip, which has been his constituency as he's their constituency MP? Now, I'm joined by Nick Johnson. Now, Nick, you're a resident here. You've been living here for over 50 years. I mean, what's your response to what we've seen over the last 24 hours? I think given the events of the last few hours, it's it's inevitable that Boris Johnson would step down as Prime Minister. For us in Uxbridge, it's going to be very interesting now to see whether we get a constituency MP back. Because the big problem, if your uh, MP is also in a high position such as Prime Minister, they haven't got the time to devote to local matters. And we saw the situation with the uh, South End MP who was tragically killed. It came out that he was a very, very good constituency MP. Any local issue he got to grips with, he got it sorted. The problem we have here in Uxbridge, we have some important local issues and Boris Johnson hasn't got the time and I think sometimes hasn't got the inclination to get them sorted for us. So it's going to be very interesting now if he reverts to the back benches whether he will now have time to sort out some of the major problems here in Uxbridge. Because a lot of people today quite rightly so, we'll be looking at the Prime Minister in terms of sort of the national politics, but it's important to stress, you know, he is still be and would continue to be the MP for Uxbridge and Rise. But I mean, what have your experience been with Boris Johnson? You've met him a couple of times when he's come to Uxbridge. I mean, what's he been like? He's an interesting person. Uh, I've met him a number of occasions on various issues. Uh, I think at times he will say yes because he wants you to to hear him say yes. He doesn't always follow things through. We have a particular issue here with our police station. We have a modern police station in the centre of the town. Sadiq Khan has partially closed it. He's closed the 24-7 front counter. He's closed the cell block and the whole station is under threat. We've been pushing Boris Johnson to meet with Sadiq Khan to sort this out um, and he hasn't met with Sadiq Khan. He's, he stood with us outside the police station and had his picture taken uh, and says he supports the campaign but we want an MP who can actually take action and sort out local issues.